It's been almost 20 years since Chicago's Soldier Field played host to the first International Special Olympics Games. This year's games held on the University of Notre Dame campus in South Bend, Indiana, have expanded into a truly international event with over 4,500 athletes from 60 countries competing with skill, courage, sharing, and joy. There are so many special athletes here. Um, people with handicaps that would normally keep them in wheelchairs or where they wouldn't do anything for the rest of their lives and they're fighting um, problems and they are fantastic athletes. They are athletes in their own right and they're incredible people and they give me such a kick. It's such an honor to be here and work for them. Lending support and advice to the gymnastics competition was Olympic gold medalist Mary Lou Retton. We have special people here, and I enjoy doing stuff like this, working with the kids. It's wonderful. Uh, you're going to conduct a clinic? Yes, right now we're going to have a clinic with some of the kids. How are you doing? Right. Are you going to be in the clinic? Yes, I am. All right. We're going to do some tumbling. We're going to do some stuff. You going to show me up? Yes, I will. <laughs> Dick Sargent, familiar to most people as Darren Stevens from television sitcom fame, also is deeply involved in Special Olympics. <laughs> That's all it takes, 30 seconds. And if you're any kind of a human being, you're hooked. These people are the most direct, the most honest, the most valiant is, I think valiant is the best word I've ever thought of for them, because they go beyond what they're expected ever to have done. And they try harder with perhaps less. And uh, thank God for Special Olympics and the supporters and the volunteers and the coaches, the people that really deserve the credit, not people like me. I'm just here because I'm some kind of a name. But the people that work every day with them are the ones that are really, you know, the gold medal ones. Why is the Special Olympics special? Because you work hard to get here. It's why it's special. Three hours a day. Three hours a day? Yeah. And is it worth it? Definitely. Why is it worth it? Look at the smile. And, and, and you get big medals, too. It really <laughs> makes you happy. Why is the Special Olympics special? It gives a chance for every child to participate and do their very best, no matter what level, what, it, what skill. I think that's what makes it special. I mean, all around. Which is? Ball, beam, floor, ball beam, and hello bars. Are you having fun? What brings you to South Bend? Well, because we have our athletes, our children from American Samoa, especially I've got a son here with me, he's an athlete. Why are the Special Olympics special? Special because of our children and all the children in this world, and we are very happy to see them. It's made us hang together as a family and do things together, and we've talked to people from all over and talked to the other kids. I think it gives you a great togetherness with everybody. And you root for everybody, not just Virginia, but everybody. George Gardner is a teacher of the handicapped on the Navajo Indian Reservation in Wendell Rock, Arizona. Uh, worth, it gives them a joy, participation. Um, it gives them a chance to know that they can do something themselves. And uh, I've seen kids when they swim across a pool for the first time, you know, they're so thrilled with it. Sometimes it's only the first time they fall in the pool, but when they go on from there and they learn to swim, that's what Special Olympics is all about. It's, it's achieving and learning. All these athletes are all united. They are all together. There are no countries against countries. It's people with people. Everyone is happy. And the other athletes are cheering after they have crossed the finish line. They're cheering for the ones who haven't crossed. And it's just a warm feeling, heartwarming.